go over my uh, setup I have in here uh, in my room uh, that I had in the little uh, uh, Saturn fix video. Um, this is the area that you probably saw most of. Um, this is just my little uh, retro gaming pod as I call it. Those aren't all my consoles of course. I have a pretty decent amount um, of consoles uh, and the number of them is, uh, is only going to rise within the next couple of months because I'm really cracking down on console collecting right now because all these consoles right here, if you look at the prices online, literally a Super Nintendo is selling for like 90 bucks because they're in such high demand. A lot of people think that they can just be like, oh, I'm going to charge $300 trillion for this and then expect people to pay for it. Uh, I'm not, I don't fall for that bullshit. Um, we have a great, great, great store here called Freak Toys in, in, in Sheboygan, uh, Wisconsin, and it is bloody fantastic. I fucking love it. I picked up that Saturn for 50 bucks, where they're, they're selling them online for 80. I picked up that Dreamcast for 35. I picked up the Genesis for 35. I picked up the Super Nintendo for 40. I got the N64 for free because someone gave it to me. Uh, I can't remember what I, what I, what I, I know I paid. 35 bucks for that GameCube, I paid like 40 bucks for the PS2, the PS1 I can't remember, I think I paid, because it was in box, and I got that years ago, and it wasn't at Freak Toys that I got it, um, same thing with the GameCube, I, did, I didn't get the GameCube at Freak Toys, um, I don't, I can't remember, but, uh, uh, regardless, I do have a bunch of different consoles, there you can see my, uh, PS3, Atari 2600, uh, uh, Xbox 360, and there's my gaming PC, um, Basically, I, I also have a VIC-20 down there. You can sort of see the box. It's kind of right there. Um, it, it, that's a, a personal computer from 1981, advertised by none other than William Shatner his, himself as the wonder computer of the 1980s. So uh, I, I thought that was a sort of a cool little blurb. I also have handhelds laying over there. If you can see over there by my stack of cards, I have... Um, uh, 3DS and a um, DSi, uh, it's a special edition 3 uh, DSi, um, then I have my Game Boy up there, and you know, that's the display Game Boy, the one that I play is actually down there, if you can kind of see it in that mess of shit, um, but yeah, I thought I'd just give you a little bit of an overview of, you know, all of that, um, that down there, below the Genesis, that's the um, AV switch, um, and what that and what that allows me to do is that allows me to switch between consoles without plugging unplugging one from video and audio output to, and then you know I have to plug another one in, and I have like all the wiring done under there like that, so it looks pretty ugly, but uh, it does what it needs to do. So say I want to uh, uh, turn on the Saturn, um, and see it, the Dreamcast is running right now on there. Uh, now what I can do is I can uh, switch to four the one right here and it'll switch to the Saturn and it'll just you know yeah uh, apparently this thing was at a GameStop at, at some point so uh okay whatever <laughs> I guess that's not important uh so yeah I thought I'd give you a look at this and uh you know blah 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 so uh I, I hope you enjoyed it and uh you'll be able to see this room evolve over time uh I'll see you later I also thought I'd mention that, yeah, I do have an NES and it's up there on my desk, uh, primarily because it's, I don't know, it's just up on my desk and I'm sort of showing it off and it's sort of the queen of gaming, so it deserves its throne and that's its throne. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, so I, I do have an NES and it's, that's, that's where it is. It's on top of my desk.